So welcome, well, looking at the sign, this is the today's agenda. Today is Sugarloaf Mountain. Haven't been up here in a quite a while, so I thought I'd do that little hike. It's got some of the best views in uh, Marquette. Yesterday, Dad and I, because I'm spending the week here with my dad, we did a hike around Presque Isle. Before that, we actually did some uh, swimming in the uh, Northern Michigan University uh, Center there. So, but today, that's what's on the uh, hiking agenda. So looking forward to this, seeing some great sights. I believe it's the uh, highest elevation mountain in uh, Marquette, if I remember right. You know, it's one of those sites where it's like a must-see when you come to uh, Marquette. Kind of like Presque Isle. But I'm looking forward to this uh, nice nature, outdoors, beautiful day in July hike. So let's get on with this and uh, check it out, see what's See how it's much has changed since the last time I was here, which is quite a few years ago. So it's 11 a.m. You can see how long it takes me to get up there. And I have no idea. I think they have it split up into routes, but I'll take the hardest route, whatever that route is. I just love the uh, how the trees are. Kind of nice little canopy on the way up. Okay, I'm starting to see a set of stairways. And got a sign. Maybe it'll tell me uh, which way. That's the paved lot. Scenic Overlook. All right. I guess they have a pave lot. I didn't even know that. Some more uh, info. If anything, I get a good stair workout. Luckily there's nobody around yet. There's a backward look at the stairs. And you give you an idea how many stairs I've actually come up, which I am not counting. <laughs> Looks like it gets, uh, because of the rain we had yesterday, it looks like it kind of washed out the trail a little bit. You can see how rocky it gets. So there's, some footing that you have to be careful of. You can see some of the, this is what it looks like when you get a lot of rain, which we had yesterday. So look at this. Yes. Got a little widening of the trail. What is some more Sugarloaf Mountain in the making? The rock in Sugarloaf Mountain was formed about 2.7 billion years ago. So far, very easy walk. Coming up to the uh, second row of stairs. Oh, I'll call it stage. <laughs> Very, you got some washed out sections. You can see right there. You the backside coming up. Just up ahead, a third.
stage of stairs. Take a look at the backside. We well, got two sets, so I got to see which one I'm going to be going on. Right, that points to the easy trail, and I guess that's what I'm taking. The difficult trail is this way, so I'll just keep going. Using the stairs, you have more to deal with. So far, so good. Awesome hike. You can make it as hard as you want, and I'm trying to make it as hard as possible. More uh, shots of my forward motion, forward path ahead. Definitely now, especially yesterday again, all that rain we had, this was probably uh, like a running river down here, or up here actually. Okay, almost to the parking lot, coming out from the difficult route. Then we're gonna make my way back up again. <laughs> So kind of a reversing course uh, back where I left the stairs. So I get a little bit of taste of both ways. So coming back out to the, uh, this would be the north lot. And I'll check the sign out. Then I'm gonna head back up the same trail because I really wanted to see how difficult this route was. because I'm actually parked further south. Okay, coming out to the uh, north lot. Wanted to hit this one too. And then back up to the peak. The kind of a taste of both directions. Back on the trail again, kind of reverse directions. Came back to the other side. What I liked about this is that it actually gave me some extra mileage. Because if I just went up the uh, the stairs, I'd, I've already been there. So this is a little bit more challenging and it makes the walk a little bit more interesting. Now, just reversing direction from the north lot. Coming from, originally from the south lot. You can see how retracing steps, the path leading forward up, a little more challenging because here there's no stairs, unlike the uh, the easy route, which I took up uh, initially. Makes a Presque Isle hike around the island much more pleasurable, but I like this because challenging to say the least. And I love the canopy, how you don't have the sun beating down on you. It's really pleasant. It's probably right now around the low 70s. So it kind of keeps the heat down. This is called the Road Ahead, Sugarloaf Mountain here in the beautiful Upper Peninsula, Market, Michigan, one of the most scenic routes in the city, or if not in the Upper Peninsula. Back up to the uh, stairs again with that. Just came from the other side. Got some folks working. Coming up to the fourth group of stairs. So far, so good. Actually did some extra by going down to the north lot. Kind of uh, got some extra mileage in. Get that workout. So I have a good taste of uh, both ways. Got some folks back there behind me. Came from there. Almost to the top. I believe this is 
Number five. Now back in the day, there were no stairs that went up here. It looks like there's a little trail that uh, possibly leads down the other way. Starting to see some good views already. I'm hitting my final leg to the top. Over there to here. Before I head up to my final stop, let's go check out this part. That's the final set of stairways. We can get some good views from this lower area just before we uh, get to the top. How about this? Beautiful. Okay, right behind me is the actual top, but I thought I'd stop here, show you this awesome view. Just below it, got some folks up there. Pan it around, I believe that's south. That more into the east. See how beautiful the horizon looks like. It goes for miles and miles and miles of forest land. As a kid, I hiked through many of these areas. Okay, this is the uh, final walk up here to Sugarloaf Mountain. The Bar King Monument was constructed in 1921 by one Scout One who died in France during World War II. One. So let's head up and check the top of this mountain. So this is the very top of Sugarloaf Mountain. And you got different viewpoints you can check out. Got one over here. That would be more toward the, uh, the north. Northeast over here, and we'll check out each one. Quite a number of folks up here. You can even see Presque Isle in the distance, and I'll point those out when I get to the uh, other that area. So this is a good 360 of the top. This is a shot from the east. You can see the ore dock, and also just to the left is uh, Presque Isle. How beautiful it is today, especially nice sunny day, got some good views. The water looks spectacular. This is Lake Superior. And I was just over at the uh, dome. You can see that in the distance. So another shot. Yeah, you see the sandbar between from the north, the and you can see another little island, which is uh, known as a Little Presque Isle, in the distance. And look at this beautiful countryside, untouched. Review. <laughs> So we're actually going a little bit over here on the side to check this beach out. You can see a better view of it. Some folks up there already. Let's see what we can see. So I'm on the other side, I just went a little bit north, and you can see Little Presque Isle over there in the distance. Now I'm trying, I do not know the name of this beach. Uh, if anybody's been here, um, 
up there, please let me know. I've actually never been to it. And it looks like a really nice beach. Maybe I could drive there uh, in the future. But uh, how about that little beautiful little island, little Presque Isle? Have to go check that out. Not today though. This is a, uh, but just look at the countryside. It just goes on and on and on. There are some very remote areas out here. So if you want to get away from the big crowds, kind of go over there. This is kind of, I will call this peak time for all the folks. It's a little afternoon and it's a really nice day. Come here early. So time to leave Sugarloaf Mountain. Got some really good views. And there are a ton of folks up here right now. And you can see how popular the spot is and I'll run it for you. A lot of folks have since come up here since I got up here. But why not? Look how beautiful the scenery is up here. Probably the best views in Marquette can be found right on the trail back to the car. And I'll probably end up taking just the easy route to get there because that's actually where I parked at. If I went to the north lot, then that would uh, bring me immediately to the difficult route. But uh, since I did both today and I want to get back, I will take the easy route. Back in the south lot, back from the mountain. Been a good one good view got some good cloud cover coming though even though it says clear skies throughout the day i believe there'll be some rain later there's the sign and see ya